Rick got pneumonia in my fist. My elbows are ashy. I think I'm vibing. I think I'm vibing. Alright. What's up, guys? Should we hear back reaction? We're going to react to Mike Malak's of a new video. And some of my friends, like, like, you know, I know I react to music, you know, I'm feeling like whatever, make whatever videos I know I make. But I was like, hmm, really, I could, what am I doing? Really, I could just, like, you already watch a video, like, dang, I know I watch the video with you. You know what I'm saying? Cut my video. Comment, hey, wanna watch, hey, let's watch this video. I react to it, you watch it. You know what I'm saying? And we can start watching videos together. AMP dropped, hey, actually, I need a, I'm about to buy their merch, actually. I'm gonna buy AMP merch for sure. Either way, Mike's new video, let's go. Cause it's like, I would watch this video by myself either way, so why not watch it with y'all, you know what I'm saying? One of y'all might have, maybe haven't seen it yet and wanna enjoy it with somebody, you know what I'm saying? So, either way, let's go. Welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so it's time to clock in. Wow, I just spit. Did you get the spit when it came out of my mouth? Yeah, maybe you can probably slow it down and see it. It feels a little weird starting off another episode at Jeff Wittick's Trap House. This one is equally in the hood. The only stores in the area are liquor stores, Metro PCS, and Boost Mobile. This one's big, bro. He must have made some money off his narco trafficking. We're doing nicer things, not bigger things, bigger drugs, more illegal activity, yeah. bigger guns. You can get a little bit closer this time since you kicked the old mic around. Do you want to tell the people what it was like? I had a chest infection and a broken rib. Watch it. I didn't have any variants, all right? What are you, Tommy Fury? You have chest going around right now. Broken ribs. Oh, broken ribs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you find any shawties last night? That was the worst cool I've ever been to in my life. Tampa's maybe one of the most ratchet places I've ever been in my entire life. I loved it, personally. I'll show you a little clip of what I can show you from last night. How did the end of the night go for you? <laughs> I'm not saying it on your video. I've never been to a club, and clubs don't look fun to me. That's just, uh, maybe I'm tripping. Let me know. What do you guys think? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather stay there with people you don't even know. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather hang out with some real friends than to go to a club. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Uh, uh, uh. Your videos, bro. <laughs> I'm home and I read a book. This is a like huge that. upgrade from last time. Yeah. Look at this. Things really popped off. Oh, wow. the day I got money, I'm bro. an island boy. <laughs> Yo, fuck <laughs> the you, George Jenko. <laughs> I got beef with the island boys now because of you. Mosquitoes is a big problem out here. Big problem with deals. Oh, oh, oh whoa, shit, whoa. not again, bro. How do you not get kicked out of these Airbnbs? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Look at this shit. We're motherfucking okay. island boys so it's now. Not, it's Aaron, baby. It's not <laughs> I'm an island boy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get away. I'm thugging, bro. I'm thugging. What is your taste in women? <laughs> like Hispanic and boy. Nothing else. <laughs> last night at the club. Hey, you all banger. The girls in that place last night, there wasn't one five in there. There were all fours, three, twos, and ones in there last night. <laughs> yeah. 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 But their yeah. attitudes are bad, too. Well, you could be the prettiest girl in the world, but if you got a bad attitude, you're a zero. And now a word from our sponsors. All right, as you guys sponsors, um, that's fire, you know. Good job for you, Mike. One month free trial of Blue Chew. That you brought her friend kept coming up to me. Hey, have a shot. Have a shot. I don't drink. I, thank you. I don't drink. You 40 times in, I said, Enough. <laughs> get out of here. Security, get her out. And then she's like, I'm with Mike. And I'm like, What the fuck am I doing here? Mike, it's the same girl I complained about. <laughs> Just let me live. Bro, what do you want me to do? Fucking shoot up dope for you right now? Is that going to make change your night? I don't need this shit. We're all going to be what? in prison. Well, there's one good looking girl in there. Just so you know, not one. Yeah. Yeah, and bad attitudes too. Someone said on one of the last episodes, Mike has money, why doesn't he do more cinematic montages and like crazy editing? Watch, for example, do you want to see more of this? Everyone watch. No one wants that. I think it's cool, like, I like film. I actually thought about changing my college major to film at some point. So, you know, I like film. I was trying to figure out over the window because it was hot as heck in here. And now people want to be dying and need sirens. I'm told that was, that was, that was a freaking joke. Don't take that seriously, please. Um, you know, God bless whoever, you know, needs help. That's great. Um, yeah, like, you know, people like Elliot Choi or Kelly Lucasso, I mean, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a style, though. You have to really like that style. You have to really enjoy that style. For me, like, get to the point, why did I come here? Show me what you came here for and move on. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to zoom, boom, the city. 
can't look. I can't see the scene. I can look it up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if it, if it adds to the vlog, eh. But Mike's vlog is fine with any type of cinematic. You know what I'm saying? Just just shoot the video. Just film 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 the year around. Just film the money, and we'll all enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. So you may not know this, but every fight where either Jake or Logan fights, I always stand with her and I, I, we hold hands and shit. And it's fun and we're gonna do it again. The girl that Logan tried talking to in the ring after Jake's last fight is on stage. She saw what you guys are doing and she looked over and she was like, Logan's on stage right now and he has to stand next to her. To the sports book. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we sell up this time. Get a prediction. Yeah, I'm gonna say fourth round knockout by Jake. Hey, what about that Bryce Hall knockout on fucking Fuji too? I actually heard about it. I didn't even see it. Oh, but you gotta I, but see I heard, it. I heard it was just like a one punch drop. Bryce needed that knockout. He's like one and one now or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> I literally watch both of you every single day. If you had to pick one of our two shows, which one would it be? And whoever you choose, you get to hang out with for one week, all expenses paid vacation to Jamaica. <laughs> I watch you every single day. What? I would have to go with Jeff because he has hey. different employees. <laughs> he gets different people. Well, I got, I got good news for you, bro. Oh, yeah, the trip to Jamaica, unfortunately, was fucking oh, shit answer. Oh, shit. Yo, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Press the button. It's an L guy. Hit a button. Stop. You know what I'm saying? Stop. What's going on? You vaccinated? Get up. Bro, don't touch me. I am. <laughs> You're here for hey, the UFO convention? Hey, listen to me. The uh, Island Boys just walked into the fight and everybody's booing. You know they're thugging, right? They're thugging. Thank God George Janko's not here. They're financial advisors. Go, 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 look, look. for the Jake Paul after party after the huge knockout that you just saw seconds ago. Greg Paul has turned all the way up. It's a clusterfuck of a bunch of people trying to act like they're somebody and they're all a bunch of nobody. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. <laughs> you're you're going in the in the DJ booth. Big fucking deal. You got the same fucking <laughs> Damn. This guy got his clout. <laughs> same rock yeah, you got the same right, rock around then. here doing the same thing there. But you're in the DJ booth. <laughs> Fucking jerk me off. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, that's what you got it from? No, I don't know about all that. No, I'm paying 100 grand and you don't even get a blowjob in that fucking circle. Fuck <laughs> off. Hold on. So you're telling me there wasn't cool people backstage at the Led Zeppelin concerts? <laughs> Oh, Led Zeppelin concerts for sure. Those were fucking epic concerts. That was you shit. One. You didn't go to a single one. What? You didn't go to a single Led Zeppelin. No, no, we only did the parties afterwards. Shut up. <laughs> he's a pony. He's a big this fat. This guy's a big, a big fat pony. Why do I feel like assaulting you? Do <laughs> it. No, like, oh, man, you know? You're gonna assault me the same way you assaulted Floyd, but bring it! <laughs> like this, like it's ready? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, I love you. Big gummy bear. I love you. Oh, I just got it. All right, New York City, we're back. Me and David witnessed uh, a bunch of civil unrest at the airport last night. The cell phone video you're looking at was captured by traveler Mike Maslach. He's got lots of people standing just feet away and watching. As he said, one man became upset over a late flight to Santa Domingo. When officers arrived and tried to detain him, we're going completely viral right now. I have an interview with Inside Edition. But now we're in New York City. Omicron, Omicron is firing up. People are dropping left and right. We're out here looking for Byron. But there's an even bigger story. Long story short, David has a girl that he's, I guess, his new friend. What's your name? Olivia. Olivia, welcome to the Night Shift. Uh, this is a, a show about cheeseburgers. Tell the Night Shift uh, audience what you just told me. I've never had a burger in my life. Crazy. 
And is that for like religious reasons or? Quick editors know, where is David finding these girls? Every time we come to New York City, it's a different fuck. Who the fuck is this girl that's never tried cheeseburgers? I'm from Radnor, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, I thought Pennsylvania, you got good burgers out in PA, I thought too. All right, so anyways, we're looking for a burger spot and you're gonna take a, a bite of your first burger today. You have to. I'm excited. <laughs> we walked two minutes, there's a place called Essex Market right behind us. We saw a sign that said, burgers. We walked in the basement of this place, Mighty's Burger Shop. I think we hit the jackpot. Like as far as just chance, luck is, how do you know? You never even had a cheeseburger before. Uh, this is the Mighty's Burger, double patty, onions, and the special sauce. Also, uh, Inside Edition canceled my interview. I was gonna have to rush through this segment because I was gonna go talk to them about the civil unrest at the Miami International Airport. They canceled the interview, they canned it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to be a reporter now. It's a disaster anyways. And you gotta hold it. It's like your first time, right? You're a cheeseburger virgin. <laughs> yeah. That's weird, right? Uh, what do you think about like how it looks, how it feels in your hands? It looks okay, yeah. It looks good. Mighty's Burger, 115 Delancey, Lower East Side. Oh my god, that thing's dripping. It's good, I like it. I do. I really like it. How would you describe using only two words? Juicy. Amazing. And fresh. It's all meat, which is such a drastic oh deviation god. from the burgers we've been eating lately. It's been all those little smash patties, just a lot of onions and a lot of beef. The beef is really good. The sesame seed bun is really, is really soft. If you don't like onions, you ain't gonna like this burger. This burger is basically onions on onions. These are the fries, just a basic uh, straight cut yeah. the fries are really good here try have you had a french fry before yes yes of course you say yes of course that's what i would think about a cheeseburger too it's not like an obvious thing with you i don't know what else you haven't tried in life no. all right thanks for that expert opinion i'm gonna keep this one simple it's what you would expect to get here in new york city if you're looking for a very very beefy burger you're gonna find it at mighty's it's a good burger i'm gonna i'm gonna say mighty's 115 delancey i'm gonna give it a 7.4 7.4 7 you ever had a mighty's burger no i, I was gonna go try one maybe do you watch the night shift yeah dude, you do you see yeah. burger reviews yeah you want to try this burger what's in it I'm, i have some allergies but like, dude, what are you allergic to peanuts and shellfish but all right i'm not taking the risk yeah, <laughs> imagine yeah. i kill I my I first ever fans. night shift viewer just dead on video <laughs> that would be awesome that would go viral <laughs> Dude, good to meet you. Crazy stuff. Appreciate you, bro. Have a good day. Uh, okay. hey guys, what's up? Uh, I was cool interaction with you, and I was supporting. Like, it was chill, you know what I'm saying? It was a little conversation, awkward. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a slower segment than you're used to here on the night nice shift. Currently laying in bed in my tiny New York hotel room. Uh, yeah, it's going to be the last video I put tiny. out in 2021. But I wanted to take uh, the opportunity right now to say thank you. This has been another life-changing year for me um from a content standpoint from a you know podcast every single one of you guys you know follow the main channel follow the second channel you know thanks so much for supporting me and has you know what i'm saying you you, you, ch you change our lives you know we so yeah i just want to say thank you i mean i'm joking i'm not joking you know what i'm saying Nothing life changes happening yet. So I assume soon I'm gonna make a speech like that and I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, no, no, no. has happened yet. You know, I need to put some more work in, but you know, when I get there, be ready.